All right, so we've gone full 29er. I've got the DH22 Michelin and the DH34 racing line or racing edition in the back. So another park bike, no cush core, and uh, service the fork, or just did a lower service and a spring, spring clean. And uh, spring was carved in black gunk. I'll put a photo up, but the spring didn't look good. So I'm wondering whether it'll feel any better. Didn't have a lot of gunk in the negative chamber, which is a credit to the guys who did the service, which was uh, someone in Woodside. I'm assuming it's bicycle fix, but I don't know where this black gunk came from. So maybe just wear and tear. It's been eight months. But yeah, it's a bit wet out here today. So perfect opportunity to test these tires. They're supposed to be really good in the wet. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, it's going to be a river on the way down. I should have gone to empty. Doesn't matter. Getting hailed on. Well, the hail's gone now, but my shoes are chock a block full of water. So I got to tip them upside down when I get to the top. Get the water out. But uh, it's definitely going to make for some slippery trail. So hold on to your shorts. We're going in deep. A little heavier to bunny hop than a normal bike. You still make it happen if you get your setup right. Fork's probably a bit soft, but she's good. So just trying these tyres out. Haven't ridden on them before. Scrubbing them in today. Whoa! Got so much water in my eyes. Can't really see what I'm doing. Bike's getting darted around a little bit. Punched off the things. Whoa. Terrible line. Maybe high on pressure to start with on the front. I've got 23 in the front, 26 in the back, 29er e-bike i usually run 22 front 25 rear on a normal bike and normal tires but these things feel really stout and really choppy so let's go down a full psi at least that's probably two out of the front so let's assume i'm at about 21 now it'll be tw between 21 and 22 maybe even 20 because it's a little colder than when I actually set the tires up. Being that the rain's just coming, oh, it looks beautiful. Have a look at it. How nice is this place? Remember we uh, evolved in the rain and the wet and the stinky, disgusting weather. So being out in it is not unnatural and don't be scared. Just be scared of dying and crashing and getting struck by lightning. All right, see if we can get a bit of compliance now. Oh. When those side knobs at the front are on, you lay them over, they're definitely in. They're definitely biting or doing something. But this should be grippy anyway. It's still choppy. I'm going to back off the low speed compression, two clicks, I've got it at six, go back to four and definitely slow the rebound down a click on the rear. Probably, I'm not sure if I wouldn't mind ditching the cascade link and trying without it, but I think it probably is a benefit for this bike. I think it takes it from 14% progression to 24. I don't even know where I'm going. Literally, not looking where I'm going at all. Just trying to 
keep my eyes open because there's so much rain and if I was to run goggles I wouldn't be able to see anything anyway so oh that tree's gone early impressions of this tire it's got two different characteristics depending on where you're whether it's upright or bent over and I'll tell you what I'm not sure if I've got heaps of confidence in the bike yet with this 29er full 29er setup feels more choppy in the back rolls over easy stuff like small stuff but the bumps that it takes just you just feel more you're feeling a little more so you got to adjust your setup to account for it and then you can get the benefits of the 29er without so many drawbacks of that bigger wheel having to get out of the way of things Yeah, these tyres are really stout. They really like thump thump. And I don't really want to run any lower pressure because I'll ding his rims. Or I may ding his rims. And it's not what I'm about. Have a look at it. It's coming super cold now as well. Woohoo! Big puddle. Ah! <laughs> See what I'm seeing? It's literally covered in hail. Oh, oh yes, this is as close as it gets to snow in Adelaide. Woo, I'm getting caned. My hands are getting peppered so hard that there's no... Oh, I'm not even going to bother riding that. This is caning me. I'm getting smashed. Looking for shelter. I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of single track, we'll see how it feels. Oh! No! Nah, these... These tyres are super harsh. And look at the river! Look at the river! Woo-hoo-hoo! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where do you go? Who cares? Just let it go. woo <laughs> Oh my god. I should have... I should have got out this morning when it was sunny. But then I wouldn't be testing these tyres and the fork wouldn't be fresh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this because uh, this is what you call committed to the cause. <laughs> and yeah, whoa! Wash the front there, there must be a little soft spot in that in that G out where you come out. So these tyres are harsh even at the lower pressure. Maybe my fork setup's a bit harsh, but I don't think so. It's it's built with more compliance than I had yesterday and the day before. Being that I've got everything freshened up. Um, so the only real difference is the... I put a little bit of extra grease on the top of... On the top hat, on the top of the piston. Than what was in there, just a longevity. But not a lot. The equivalent of half a token. Which is what I always do. And... Uh, yeah, I'm at 98 PSI now, which feels a little soft. Under push and pump but is uh, still quite uh, quite harsh on the hand and I've backed off the low speed compression as well so oh yes it's back we're back so after all that let's see if twisted gum's rideable twisted gum get me words right <laughs> I won't take any more pressure out of the tyres I'll leave them as is I'll check the pressure when we get to the bottom. Little bit of caution. Whoa, slippery rocks. Oh, very slippery on the rock. Yeah, the tyres are very slippery on the rock. On the hard pack stuff, which 
I would kind of expect a little bit, but the DHF definitely gives you more confidence. I think, anyway. I'd probably need to put one of these tyres on my bike on an optimal setup, setup that I'm happy with and, and familiar. Whoa! Familiar with, yeah, it's slippery. It seems like I haven't got much of that rain just here, but it was hanking down a minute ago. Yeah, I'm definitely not, definitely not confident in the tire. Oh, definitely not. That back tire just slips under brake, even on that good dirt. Which, when I tested the bike park edition, was very, very slippery on rocks. And they say this one's a better compound of rubber. A softer compound. So we'll see. This whole ride's on Strava as well, so you can check that out. Good time, 69. All letters. Definitely more harsh at the back. Absolutely, and more harsh like, I can feel that tire, that wheel, the whole wheel, having to do more work to move up and down. Maybe I need to scrub these tires in, maybe that's why. They're a bit slippery. <laughs> but I'm certainly preferring the mullet style, the 27.5 out back setup. Now, yeah, we'll go this way. So the fork itself feels good, like it's it's staying up under under brakes a little better than it was yesterday which could be attributed to the little bit of extra grease I put in so acting like half a token oh that corner needs to be a little bit like more arc better arc but who might have complained I didn't build it Thank you, Mello, for doing the work out here and whoever else has been out here. I'm not sure if it's just Mello or there's some other cats making things happen. See, now the tires are looking up all right. Dry dirt, that's why. Real good in the dry. Feels quite uh, trustworthy in the, at the back, at least. And I'll do the normal twisted finish. I should have just stayed on this side of the hill. It doesn't look like it's got any of that that I was just riding through. Which is surprising. There's just more feedback in my legs from this 29er setup. I like that little gap, but it's small, like not a lot of room for error. I'd say this front tire tracks reasonably well but not like stand out like wow this is easy to ride let's see through here because this is really slippery down here on this lefty and yeah hooking up the back tires hooking up maybe I need to just scrub them in let's try again all right let's see if after scrubbing these tires in they hook up a little bit better on these slick rocks and just on stuff in general super choppy still quite scary oh, yeah. similar probably maybe a little bit better for sure like they held on a little bit instead of just going ah like a scared cat Definitely rougher in the back and more inertia going up and down. You can no, absolutely feel it and notice that. I am 5 psi higher in pressure as well, which may or may not play a difference, probably does. But just to get that, just to get the pedals out of the way with those pedal strokes. See a little bit better there, the back end actually grabbed under brakes then instead of just disappearing. So. 
A little bit more confident? Yeah, definitely. Definitely a little bit more there to, to mess with. Oh, little roof, sorry buddy. I hope he didn't hurt himself. Yeah, certainly. Chop all rock on the left, so still low pedal. Um, and certainly more feedback on the legs. <laughs> so maybe down to a point four spacer or ditch the spacer. You got a heap more pressure to have this ride height without the chop. Because yeah, she is a bit choppy in the 29er mode. mode. Now, for reference, this is 17 millimeters of sag. Six, sorry. It's like hovering 16 to 17 of sag. So. Yeah, I'm a little scared of the pedals now. Pedal clipping, because if you clip a pedal on a trail like this, you're down the hill and it's, it's a roll of the dice whether you, you hurt yourself or not. I felt on that rock, that square edge of that rock, I felt the front tire compress a bit, like if I was to have a hard square edge hit, I'd definitely ding the rim at this pressure. There's grip there. I could definitely, yeah, there's grip on the edge for sure. That is good grip on the edge of that front tire. Ooh. But I don't like the chop. I'm not into the chop. The chop has to stop. Yeah, ride height's not, not terrible, like dropping into that corner, I feel natural and comfortable. So it's just a matter of getting rid of that chop in the suspension through token configuration, I think. Just made it, little nose case coming out of that turn. Up high, you can get a good arc, then drop into that little rut, catch rut, and then wiggle through here. Now, scrubbed in totally, absolutely. These tires, let's see how they hook up now. Lay them over. Yeah, there's heaps of grip in that softer stuff. Heaps of grip. If you could give me that grip without the chop, I'll take it. But I'm not sure about rolling efficiency because I'm on an e bike. But it felt, it felt like it rolled alright the 34 out back so that's it i'm done on this thing i'm gonna go home and wash it make sure everything's good and tight and fixed and and whatever but uh that was good fun that's on strava good time 69 check it out